Hello everyone, I'm Anime Freak and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Animation Rewinds, Kirby vs. Pac-Man. Now, uh, I've had a lot of people you know, give me a, a hell of a time of um, of, of this old Kirby vs. Majin Buu thing. I mean, I've, I've made a, um, a, a video with uh, Kirby vs. Majin Buu from Screwtax video, so if you want to go and check that out, please be my guest. Now... There's been a, a lot of people saying that, oh, K Kirby's more powerful, oh, Kirby's this and that, this and that, way. oh, Kirby has unlimited power. Well, to be honest, I don't, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a Kirby fan. Well, I'm not saying, oh, okay, let me rephrase that. It's not that I'm not a Kirby fan, it's just that I haven't played his games. I haven't seen his anime, I haven't seen the game, I haven't seen the anime, I haven't played the games. I don't know anything about Kirby. The only thing I know about him is that he's, he can just, like, inhale stuff and then he, then he becomes or something. And listen, I'm not being ignorant or saying that oh, oh, Kirby's crap or anything. I just do not know anything about him, and I think I think that's sort of what what many people were pissed off pissed off with, because you know because oh because I don't know Kirby they, they they think. It's, uh, I I just I just don't know. I mean I, I mean I know Pac-Man. I mean he can just go oh, jump 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 and he eats ghosts, but but with with Kirby. Uh, there's there's like been like a lot of uh, debate and arguments on, on online about with him versus Majin Buu. And uh, there's been there's been there's uh, been a, pe there's a lot of people saying that oh Kirby's got um, unlimited power that he can beat anybody and and stuff. And I I don't know. Tell you what, I'll I'll watch uh, Animation Rewind's video and if he if he can give give me like you know some sort of like you know answers, then. Then I'll, I'll listen to him because I have absolutely no no idea what to, what to make of Kirby. I absolutely I have absolutely no idea. But if I had to guess, I'm gonna have to go with uh, in in this fight. I'm gonna go with Kirby because you know he can he can inhale stuff and he can uh, he, he can yeah. I'm just gonna go with Kirby. So just give me a sec. Um, with that said, let's get to watching. Okay, here we go. Oh, I saw. I forgot, I forgot to mention. Uh, there's a link in the description box below to this video. So, so before you watch me watch this, make sure make sure you uh, go and watch Animation Rewind's video of this. So as soon as you've done that, come back watch me watch this. So yeah, that said, let's get to watching. So here we go. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome to the 73rd episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Hello. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, then check out some of the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's sprite battle is animated by my friend King Ike 75 He's also a member of Animation Nation. So, to support tonight's animator, be sure to subscribe to both of these channels if you enjoy what you see. Speaking of tonight's fight, we have a battle between the puffy yet powerful eaters, Pac-Man and Kirby. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club 73rd Round of Fighters. Kirby lives in his dome-shaped home in Dreamland, a country on his home planet, Popstar. His adventures take him throughout Dreamland and occasionally into local star systems for various reasons, and he has saved his homeland many times. Kirby's body is soft and flexible, allowing him to flatten himself or expand like a balloon. Officially, he is 20 centimeters tall, but because Kirby has no form of skeletal structure or teeth, his body and weight can vary from time to time. Kirby's signature move is his ability to inhale enemies and swallow them. 
He can also attack others by spitting enemies out as star projectiles. Certain enemies, when swallowed, grant Kirby new powers called copy abilities. He can store ability bubbles in his stomach. This means that Kirby can save and reuse old abilities that he's previously copied. Now if Kirby takes too much damage, his ability bubbles will break and he will lose the abilities that he previously copied. Without any extra copy abilities, Kirby can hold his breath for a limited balloon-styled flight, travel and attack with his Lightspeed Warp Star, and he also has impressive strength and durability. Strength so impressive that he can outswim and survive inside black holes. Speaking of black holes, the actual Kirby manual stated that after Kirby ate Miracle Fruit, his stomach became a vertible black hole, allowing him to inhale giant objects. That's right, Kirby has the power of a black hole inside of him. Speaking of inside of him, if you are wondering why Kirby can eat so much, well it's because when Kirby swallows something, that said thing enters the pocket dimension known as the copy palette. The copy palette is a completely separate dimension that is in direct relation to Kirby. The official limits and boundaries of this dimension are unclear. Because Kirby has never filled this dimension before completely, we don't know exactly how much he can fit inside of it. But the good thing is, Kirby can remove some of the matter in this dimension and absorb it for more energy and power. Now Kirby may seem almighty, but don't forget that he's still an infant, and like all infants, he does lack a level of bravery and maturity, and even though Kirby can survive a lot of powerful attacks, it's the simplistic approach that seems to be the most effective against him. Attacks that hit Kirby unexpectedly do the most damage, because he wouldn't be ready to build up energy to defend himself. Kirby's durability fluctuates depending on how much energy he can absorb into his physical form. Overall, Kirby is a young yet powerful pink puffball with the ability to copy and use other opponents' abilities. He has plenty of raw power, and thanks to his infancy, plenty of things to learn. From one spherical eater to another, let's discuss Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the defender of Pac-Land, Household Family Man, and Namco's poster child. Like most sure, retro arcade games, the story behind Pac-Man's origin is not officially clear. What we do know is that the Pac-People and the Ghost Gang members don't get along. And because only one Pac is brave enough to defend his hometown, it's up to Pac-Man to save his village time and time again when trouble is afoot. Pac-Man is a master eater with a large appetite. His favorite food is Pac Dots. If he eats over 10,000 points worth of Pac Dots, he gains an extra life. But his true power comes when he eats power pellets. There are various forms of power pellets, from the traditional power pellet, which makes Pac-Man invulnerable for a short period of time, all the way to things like fire and ice pellets, which allow Pac-Man to manipulate and use fire and ice balls, Pac-Man can also consume magnet and chameleon pellets, which give him telekinetic abilities, as well as camouflage abilities. Along with his eating abilities, Pac-Man is skilled with a basic yet effective offensive attack style. This includes his ground pound, rev roll, and his combo kicks. Pac-Man also has a solid amount of raw power and strength. He is strong enough to break through solid wood, stone, and metal. He's also equipped with a fighter mech suit that can keep up with many of the fighters in Tekken. On rare occasions, and if Pac-Man receives help from his mentor, Circumference, he can be genetically enhanced to transform into an entire planet. In Pac-Man's planet form, he can literally eat whole planets as if they were simple Pac Dots. One downside to Pac-Man's arsenal is that it's mostly built for fighting ghosts. He does have some experience facing robots and various aliens, but an overwhelming majority of his upgrades and attacks are only useful when facing ghosts. When facing non-ghostly characters, Pac-Man does have to rely on things that he doesn't normally use, such as his attack mech. Overall, Pac-Man is the ultimate ghost hunter and master gut enthusiast. However, beyond defeating ghosts and eating, he needs a lot of outside equipment and assistance to be victorious during non-ghostly combat. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle's going to take place on the Pop Star Planet, and there is no prep time. Let the battle begin. Okay, let's get cracking. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Uh, you are going down for me! Uh, yes! Jesus! Uh, yes! Yeah. 
Enough. You two should stop playing around and show the viewers the real fight. over for Pac-Man. Now before we discuss why Kirby's the winner, I want to give a huge shout out to the battle animator, King Ike 75 King Ike 75 is also a member of the Animation Nation, so if you enjoy what you saw, you can support him by subscribing to both of these channels. Now let's discuss Pac-Man vs. Kirby. If the outcome to Pac-Man vs. Kirby surprised you, then don't worry, I'm about to make it seem far less surprising. And no need to beat around the bush, I'll just cut right to the chase. Kirby has the power of the Miracle Fruit, which made his stomach become a vertible black hole, allowing him to inhale giant objects. Kirby has the force of a black hole within his own body, and outside of his body, he has survived being within the boundaries of a black hole. Pac-Man has never ever done anything near that level of power. Sure, he has his pack planet form, but that can only be possible with outside help from his mentor, Circumference. Also, let's not forget that the overwhelming majority of Pac-Man's arsenal is only useful when fighting ghosts. Beyond his great ghost defeating abilities, he's only equipped with basic elemental attacks and physical street brawling skills. Kirby can not only copy every ability Pac-Man has, but his own arsenal is far more useful from fighting all types of foes. And here's an interesting perspective, Pac-Man has the ability to poop. <laughs> That's right, Pac-Man can poop, as he's clearly been seen in his own bathroom inside his home. Kirby has never been seen taking a number two. What does this mean? This means that Pac-Man has a digestive system. Which also means that Pac-Man is far, far more limited in the types of things he can eat and how much he can eat. He's also been sick before and sent to the hospital for eating the wrong things. Kirby, on the other hand, okay. can eat pretty much anything and everything with little to no damage. The only way I can see Pac-Man having a legit chance against Kirby is if we give Pac-Man outside help, prep time, his complete arsenal, and on the flip side, well, put see. Kirby on some serious handicaps. So if you do want to see a rematch like that, you know what to do. Comment down below the word rematch, and if this episode gets 4,000 rematch comments, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your ideas for future Cartoon Fight Club episodes. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon Fight Club. And stay tuned, because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. So it's late.
think. Saying Kirby versus Kid Boo. Because, I mean, I mean this this was good, and I, I, I did not see a Pac Man win in this. I, I want to find out if it's true or not that Kirby would go against, uh, um, uh, uh, Boo Han. Let's let's make Boo Han versus, uh, Kirby because. I, I want to I want to find out, the truth on how. If if uh, Kirby can win against Margin Boo, because I think I, I don't know what to believe. I mean, if if animation rumor can convince me that K Kirby can win, then I I'll admit defeat. I mean, excuse me, I I've, I've had arguments with people about this, but you know, I just want to get it done and over with. I mean, if if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and if I'm right, I'm right. You know, I, it's 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 just one of those things. So um. <sighs> I thought I thought that, I thought that was pretty good to be honest with you. And what the hell was that goofy looking? That that was that was, that, that, that thing looked like it was, you know, mentally crippled. <laughs> I mean, physically crippled. Uh, but it was funny. Uh, what, what can I suggest? Uh, what what about um, uh, Martian Manhunter versus Buhan? M make it happen. I'd li I'd like to see that. So um. Yeah, that, that was pretty good. So if so, well, yeah. If you guys want to follow me on my med medias, there's um, the, there are links to uh, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, uh, Google Plus, Facebook, and Patreon. So if you if you guys want to follow me down, follow me them. Yeah. If you guys want to follow follow me on them, then they're down there. Okay. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio.